Here we're going to be looking at uh, string manipulation. So we're going to be focusing more on strings this time. We are going to do an example here, which is going to show us the problems with using uh, Scanf to capture a string. So we are, we're going to ask a user to enter 50 characters, and we're going to see the problems by using uh, Scanf and the alternative as well of what we can use. Instead of the scanf we'll use a different function which is more appropriate for handling strings and manipulating strings. So we start the script or the, the program with uh, hash includes and then studio h main function we open it up we declaring two arrays one's called arr1 50 characters and one is ARR2 and it's going to hold 50 elements so they're both e equally the same okay and uh, we're asking now the user here printf enter 50 characters with spaces and we ask we, we put two scanfs first one's going to capture a string or part of the string and it's going to dump it into the 50 characters here and uh, the second one as well is going to capture it and put it inside uh, array 2 so theoretically if this works correctly it should capture the whole sentence that we'll write and put it twice into two arrays okay copy of the two and it and it tells us here input red into the first array and it should give us the whole sentence and here as well it should give us the whole sentence again but we'll put a sentence here and we we'll say everything else has been lost because it won't be able to capture all 50 characters the reason is as soon as it hits the space it's going to think this is the end and it's going to stop but what's going to happen because we're asking it to scan F again it's going to capture the second word or in, inside the string and then as soon as it hit the space again it's going to stop so if we had two words it will capture both. It will put what the first word in array one and the the second word in array two. But if we had more than that, the rest of it will be lost basically. So let's run it so we can actually see see it working and understand exactly what we we've said. So we build. Looks like it's built okay. Now we're gonna go to the to the command prompt. And here we've put it in a different subdirectory called strings so we can change that cd dot dot and cd string okay and we called it scan f prob as you can see up there scan f prob okay now it says enter 50 characters with spaces I'm gonna put my name is Ahmad Sami Hikab okay and it says here I input red into the first array my and it just completely discarded the rest and then it says input red into the second array name and everything else has been lost so now we're gonna look at the solution to this problem okay let's bring that down the solution is gets and puts okay we're gonna see that working with an example include stdio.h main we start again by declaring the array 50 characters again we're asking the user to enter 50 characters with space this time we use something instead of the scanf we use gets okay and gets captures every single character and puts it into the array including the spaces as well and we put the name of the array into here and it will distribute all the characters uh, until it hits 50 characters and it's going to stop okay and here we said input red and it should now we, we do something called puts puts what that does it now starts to extract all the characters in one by one in the array and displays it on the screen okay so let's see that working and then we can understand a bit more how how that should work so now we build yep it's built ok close that and we go to command prompt and it's called gets puts 
Okay, so I'm gonna say my name is Ahmad Sami. Okay, and it tells us here input read into the array was my name is Ahmad Sami. Let's try something uh, longer than that and see what happens. My name is Ahmad Sami Gab. I am the chairman of Yumacom Group. PLC. So this is obviously longer than 50 characters. Uh, press enter and it exits. Something went wrong. Okay? Obviously because we we've we've fixed the the size of the array to 50 characters. It's gone beyond that. So now the the program malfunctions basically and and it crashes. So when it crashes it just exits. It doesn't go to the next line. Okay? But if we extended it more than that like we'll do in a different example, you see it, um, it working fine, and so on. Okay, so we'll stop this lesson and we'll move on to the next re lesson, which is reading the strings.